Hi, I'm Dan Elder, and welcome to this video about alternate vertical lines in Milestones Professional. Let's get started. First of all, let's just get the regular date line on the schedule. So if I go to the Dates tab and choose Display Date Line, it should put a date line on whatever the current date of the schedule is. And I've set an override right here so that it matches with uh, June 20th. And if you want to, you can actually modify the date line by going to More Current Date Options, and you can see the date line options right there. So let me show you our first alternate vertical line, which is a vertical link between two symbols. So if I add uh, this symbol down here, I'm just going to use this diamond, use the plus tool. I'm going to add a symbol here on June 7th. And then I'll add another symbol at the bottom, also on June 7th. So now I'm going to connect these two with a vertical link, which I can do with the plus tool by clicking on that symbol, clicking on the vertical link that I want to use, and then clicking on this symbol right here. So that's going to show you kind of an alternate um, vertical line right there. Uh, it'd be good for marking you know, important dates on the schedule that you also want to put text next to. Uh, for instance, I could add some text to this. Review meeting, apply text changes. Uh, so now people know what that vertical line kind of represents. Uh, so that's the first method for an alternate vertical line. The next method is a little bit more manual, but you can use the line tool on the toolbox. So it's simply just going to draw a line wherever you want it. So for instance, if I want to put a vertical line right here, I'll just kind of manually draw that. And you do just have to kind of manually make sure that the line is straight. Um, and then you can see that line got added right there. Um, I can also click on the line and choose, uh, you know, like a different line pattern if I want to. Uh, you also have the show on top option. So if you have that selected, it's going to show on top of all of these, you know, symbols and bars, or you can show under um, all the symbols and bars. The next method is uh, kind of a little trick you can use. Um, it uses curtains. So if you go to the format tab and you go to curtains, which is shade by date range, can click on that. You can add a curtain. Um, in this particular instance, um, this schedule might be too uh, kind of short range for the curtain to look uh, super great, but let's just go ahead and try that. I'll just say um, maybe sometime in June. I'll say June 18th, for instance, and I will end it also uh, let's see, it starts June 18th um, at midnight and then it finishes June 18th um, in the evening. So if I change this, maybe I could do like a half day curtain. Uh, basically, it's going to shade this whole time frame and you can choose um, a different color. So if you wanted, um, you know, maybe like a blue line or something like that, um, you also have uh, curtain fill pattern options. So you could do like a uh, kind of a stripey line, for instance. Let's go ahead and try that and see what that looks like. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and press OK. And if you have any background shading, um, you will want to choose um, <clears throat> show curtains over horizontal grid lines. Um, that'll show it over the uh, any grid lines and also any background colors on the rows. So I'll just go ahead and press done. Um, and then you can kind of see it added a line right there. So obviously, depending on uh, your date range, if you have a multi-year schedule and you're trying to do this, um, you might want to make the um, the curtain have a little bit longer range. Uh, right now, this range is only 12 hours. So I think that worked out pretty good for kind of the stripey look that I wanted to do. Um, and that's kind of how you use curtains as a vertical line. So the last method uses custom date headings in combination with vertical grid lines. So I can click on a date heading up here and I'll go to edit custom headings over there on the left side. And 
Um, you can put any text you want right here. Uh, it's not going to show up. Uh, we're just going to use this date right here. So I can just say um, maybe June um, 25th, 2023. And then this one could be um, July 9th, 2023. Um, and you could just put one date if you want to. Uh, basically, we're going to add grid lines to these dates. And you can see um, when I went to edit custom headings, uh, it has all these tabs right here. So this is custom type one. So we'll just need to remember that um, when we add the actual grid line. So to add the grid line to those dates, you can see there's no lines yet. I would go to the format tab and choose vertical grid lines. Um, currently, I don't have any grid lines set up, uh, but if you go to the custom tab, you can actually choose that user defined type one, and that's going to use that custom heading uh, type one that we set up. So if I want uh, these to be some solid blue lines, for instance, press OK. And then you can see it added those um, vertical lines right there. And if you ever need to change those, um, you can go back to the uh, date heading and go to edit custom headings. Um, so for instance, if I want this one to now be a little bit later, like a week later, you just change that right there, press OK. And then you can see it gets updated to the new date. And that's pretty much it for this video about alternate vertical lines in Milestones Professional. If you have any questions, email support at kidasa.com and be sure to check out our website at kidasa.com. Have a nice day.